hello my youtube foodie family members welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome 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 what's on the menu today we are making some very sticky delicious authentic chinese fried rice of course with some jerica twist here and there but you know it gives you that warm sticky oriental feel and you absolutely absolutely love it let's dive into my kitchen and get started right now <laughs> all right beautiful family for a quick rundown of our ingredients i got some beef which i had marinated already with some soy sauce and some baking soda to tenderize it and i got my vegetables i've prepped already one crucial thing about making fried rice is once you prep ooh, <laughs> it's an easy breezy you're gonna be done in about 30 to 20 minutes but this took a little bit longer because of all the different proteins ginger garlic onion some scotch bonnet pepper you wouldn't find that in the attending the scotch bonnet there okay but this is where my own twist starts coming in so i blended that in into a puree now we're going to do a lot of multitasking and i got my pans so for this one we're going to go ahead and add some vegetable oil olive oil and then we're going to saute our sausages and then for this one the blended scotch bonnet ginger garlic and a little onions we're going to cook that in that little saucepan so we're adding some seasoning cube and I'm using nor just one and a little bit of salt to give it that delicious taste. Now this sauce is going to be the one to be like a binder to give us that sticky oriental feel. Okay, now our sausage is nicely golden brown. We're going to go ahead and saute our stir fry our bean until it's nice, soft, tender and brown. Just hear that sizzle. <laughs> okay, so so you can see the layering of our protein. Next, we're going to go ahead and stir fry our chicken, and I'm adding adding some Asian seasoning at this point. This Asian seasoning, oh my god, it's so umami. It gives you that authentic Oriental taste for your fried rice. And I added a little bit of salt to my chicken. So once our chicken is almost nicely golden brown, went in with some vegetables, some carrots, and some green beans. We're going to add some eggs. Okay and i'm going to add about three eggs i feel like you can fry your eggs separately break them and add but this is just fine when going for a sticky consistency okay i added my onions So in went my cabbage for my chicken. I think I used shrimp for this recipe. I can't even remember at what point I added it, but then I had already stir fried my shrimp and added into this dish already. <laughs> can't even remember the point where I think immediately after the chicken before Perfect. this. 
so but the shrimp oh my goodness it's just a little bit but it's going to add a lot of flavor to our fried rice now we're going to incorporate our pre-cooked rice and some coconut flakes the coconut flakes is just jerica thing i tell you now we're using this short grain fried um rice for this recipe and we're going to add our sauce and we'll follow through with some oyster sauce with some dark soy sauce if you got the light one you can use that instead and then we are going to go through with some sesame seed oil just a little bit okay <laughs> i tell you this is fire this fried rice hmm. i've been making a lot of chinese fried rice but this one i have not seen anybody that tasted it i was like how <laughs> oh my goodness it's so good it's so delicious it's so simple quick and easy to pull together as well Make sure your rice is pre-cooked and it has been in the fridge at least overnight for best excellent results, okay? To all my newbies, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Follow me on Jerica's Infusion. Food is fun. We love to try different, different recipes. This is where it's happening. To my old G's, thank you so much for always watching always liking and always supporting i love you guys so you want to fry and fry until it is piping piping hot we're going to add some bell peppers that's of course some of my jerica twist in it just to give us some pop of color and more nutrition so there we go and of course some spring onions it just always shines bright our fried rice is ready Ooh. bring me a plate let me serve you some happily i hope to see you in my next video and i hope you give this recipe a try and i'm sure you'll enjoy it. bye ciao